Okay, let's go. Now you know it's something serious when they have a parade jumping off before the Apple Festival even starts. If you're looking for how to make the best delicious caramel apples within 20 minutes, you clicked on the right YouTube channel, boo. Honey child, this good, good southern caramel apple recipe requires one cup ingredients, one cup of melted sea salted butter is what I use, one cup of brown sugar, one cup of caro syrup, or you can use any light corn syrup, one cup of white sugar, one cup of sweetened condensed milk, Stir your ingredients really well for your caramel apples. At this point, you can add a pinch of salt if you did not use salted butter. Don't forget to add your vanilla. I like to use one and a half to two teaspoons of butter vanilla. It's the same amount of flavoring that I use for my candy apples, one and a half to two teaspoons. Go ahead and stir and blend. This is what your caramel should be looking like within five minutes. Five minutes. This is what your caramel should be looking like. Hello. Ten minutes. You're halfway done. You should see some bubbles forming. It should be boiling. So you're halfway done with your perfect caramel for your perfect caramel apples. Okay. You got about 10 more minutes. So this is what your caramel should be looking like here at 15 minutes. It's almost done, y'all. It's almost done. Hold on. So you can tell pretty much your caramel is almost done. 20 minutes is coming up. Look how thick this is look at the center part right here look how thick it is that's let me know it's done I'm pretty much finished it has reached 235 so once your caramel reached 235 go ahead and take it off the stove and let it sit let it sit for five minutes you guys can test an apple look look right here so right here when you start seeing your bubbles look like this it's pretty much done i don't know what to call it but it's pretty much done it's not burnt but you know your caramel is done so don't let it scorch let it sit and cool up to five minutes if that you can test an apple and see if it's the thickness that you want so i always have an extra apple you don't have to ask people how long do i need to wait for my caramel to cool just have that one extra apple and test to see if that's the thickness that you want your caramel apples to be see look right here um these are um, really good caramel apples these are so delicious I want my thickness about right here but I'm telling you guys I hate making these because I end up eating about three or four back to back and I had to end up making some more so I'm going to show you the thickness of the caramel in that part on when I dip my apples I never like time my caramel I always just have one to test because I'm going to eat it anyways if you have made these delicious caramel North Khaki Lacky Southern Caramel Apples, please let me know down in the comment section how they worked out for you. If you plan on making these delicious Southern Caramel Apples very soon, please let me know down in the comment section. Look at the thickness of your caramel.
I use my candy apple cleaning process for my caramel apples. Yes, I do clean my caramel apples just like I clean my candy apples. And you can look for those um, cleaning methods that I use with the lemon juice, baking soda, and salt right here at the top of your screen. You can click on one of these videos right here. And as far as the thickness of your caramel, don't be asking people how Second long to option. wait because this caramel ain't like the rest of the caramels, honey. This that southern, good, good, delicious caramel apple recipe that is firm, soft, and chewy. And it takes only about three or four minutes. Like I said earlier or previously in this video, just test one apple because you're going to eat it anyways. Test that one apple. See if that's the desired thickness that you want your caramel apples to be. I don't even time how long my caramel has been sitting. I wait about two or three minutes. That's it. And then I'll test it. Look how thick this is. This is beautiful. This caramel apple is beautiful, but you don't want to wait too long until it's too thick and you can't turn your apple. So just test that one apple. You see how firm that is? It just comes up off the mat. And that's the bottom of the apple I just showed you so you can see what it looks like. You want to scrape that really well on the bottom so you don't have all that extra caramel sliding off. Now that looks sloppy. Um, I know a lot like extra candy on the bottom of their candy apples, but as far as caramel, I like to really scrape the bottom of my caramel apples for that perfect caramel apple look. Now this is the perfect thickness right here. Beautiful. Just dip your apple all the way in and rotate your apple. Scrape the extra caramel off the bottom as good as you can get. I like to use parchment paper because I can just take everything up and throw it away. I ran out of parchment paper so I am using a silicone mat. With the next apple, I am going to show you what you can do if you ever get a bubble in your caramel apple. It's much easier to deal with bubbles when you get bubbles in your caramel apple versus candy apples. Just, you know, make sure you have some toothpicks beside you when you're working with your caramel apples. Just in case you get a bubble in your caramel apple, you just pop it like this and give it a little shake. A little shake and scrape it on the side of your pot for the extra caramel and you really pretty much can't tell it was even a bubble there So you know these are the perfect caramel apples when your caramel apples come up off a silicone mat like this. If you have enjoyed this caramel apple tutorial, make sure you stay tuned to watch my next tutorials coming up right here on Candy Apple TV. I'll see you in a few seconds over in my next video.